Hi, and thanks for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. I have just a very quick video. This is a flip of holiday cards, but more specifically, uh, the motif is around Christmas trees. I did a little bit of sh uh, holiday craft shopping and picked up some goodies from Sizzix, and so these are just a few. Um, but they're the ones that I used in these four cards, so um, I'll go through these as I show you the cards. So the first two is a little bit of a two-for-one, and it's actually featuring this impresslet, um, which is an embossing folder that both embosses and die cuts. And in addition, this also comes with a couple of dies uh, that you can use to decorate your tree with. So, let me show you the first card. This is my flat card. So you can see um, it embosses the word believe with some stars on the side. And then on the right side, it cuts out this beautiful tree with some decorations and framed in this arch of tree branches. So I, on the card base itself, put down some Nouveau uh, Crackle Mousse, and that was to give it a little bit of texture, a little bit of shine, but not introduce more color, because I did want to keep this very tone-on-tone um, -tone with just the white and gold. And the reason why this I say this was a two-for-one is because I did uh, run the embossing folder through gold mirror foil and white, and then I cut it along uh, the border that's embossed right there and I split up those two halves. So on my layered card I used the other half of these bits and so you'll see those are reversed and um, the die set does also come with these um, decorative pieces which I've layered on top and um, I also layered behind the tree in this case I used Craft Perfect uh, one of their I don't know exactly which card it is but it's one of their specialty cards so it's embossed it has some texture it's a little bit floral um, kind of hard to see on camera with all the shine from the mirror card but again it adds a little bit of interest but not color to um, the card and the die set does include the leaves and little holly berries which I just die cut out of uh, green and red foil cardstock and then these flowers also came in the embossing folder set. The little cardinal bird does not come in that set though. This came from the Karen, Ber Karen Berniston uh, Christmas tree pop-up die set. So um, that's the one thing that didn't come from that die set, but with the tree branches here, I just thought that it would be super cute to include that. So that's this one. Then my interactive card is, um, I just used actually this uh, tree die set that I've had for a while now. And it comes in a set of two, so I can't even remember where I got it. But the first one cuts the larger tree, um, which is just the shadow layer. And then the second one cuts the um, smaller layer, but also partially die cuts these um, sort of branches, which are just flaps, but they can be fluffed out to add dimension to um, your card. And then the sentiment down here, uh, I picked up these die sets, which are holiday sentiments, and I really love them. I've gotten a lot of use out of them so far, and um, it's really nice to die cut your sentiments. <laughs> I'm really enjoying that instead of stamping, and because um, a lot of times I, I like to use the various um, specialty papers, and uh, this is just a sort of a more um, satin silver that's over a silver glitter. So I thought that that silver glitter was a, a little bit darker, so it's a nice shadow layer. 
And then the interactive nature of this is that it's a spinner. So I do have um, sequins on both sides, but because the sequins are so flat, I'm not worried about them sort of puncturing over onto the back side of the or the inside of the card. And on the inside, I just put a um, some pattern paper that I had. This is just nice beautiful snowfall. Um, there's some larger snowflakes in it too. It's just a really nice pattern, but I thought it made for a good backdrop. And then the front of the card is also embossed with a snowflake pattern. So very simple. Again, you know, not a lot of color except for the tree, which is um, the focal area. So that's, that's what I kind of, that's the look I was going for with that. And then my last card is my pop-up card. So with this one, I used the Flip and Fold Christmas Tree die set from Sizzix. And these presents come in the die set. The tag, however, is actually from this holiday tag set. So it does have the larger tag and then it's got the smaller sort of layering piece that has um, the pierced border. And um, the larger one, I don't know why they have it this way, but the larger piece does not have the hole punched out of it. So if you do want to run ribbon through it like I did, um, you're going to have to punch a hole through um, that larger piece. And... I used the present on the cover from this die set too. So this has the present and it's got um, a separate die for the bow so you can cut them out of different colors which is what I did. So on this red piece it's a panel that I embossed but before I ran it through the embossing um, folder I actually inked it with Versamark and that way um, and I'm actually using the deboss side, so it's pressed in, and that's the side that I put the Versamark ink to. And that way, what was pushed into the cardstock is a little bit darker, and that gives it a little bit more shadow and depth. So I really love how that turned out. And these bits here were actually leftover cardstock from that panel because the main um, piece that, or the main reason why I uh, prepared that panel is actually on the inside of this card, but I, it was so pretty and I had leftover pieces, so I used it on the front of the card too. And then I've got some um, white glitter card here and then silver mirror foiled card. So I'll just slip off the belly band and then this will open up and you'll get this 3D tree. And these flip and folds are really nice for all of this dimension. They fold down really flat and it just takes a little bit of fluffing <laughs> and pinching to bring all of that dimension back out. And so you can see that's what it looks like if you're looking at it from the front. And this is on a floating floor. So you can see everything is standing up on a floor and I was going for this, you know, interior sort of um, carpeted look. And so here's that panel with the red. This is my Christmas tree skirt. <laughs> I just um, embossed the whole panel and then I um, cut it out a circle scallop uh, shape die cut and use that as my tree skirt. So this tree probably I'll add some ornaments to and actually sort of decorate it. And so you'll see photos of that on my blog and my website when it's complete, but I wanted to just show um, just the basic structure of this. And so the die set, um, shows this being just applied to the front of a card, but I really wanted to go all out and make this 
3D and have it be fully sort of 360. You can really appreciate it from all sides. And everything is dimensional. So the tree is dimensional, the um, star at the top is dimensional, and the gifts are also um, dimensional. And it's just thanks to that sort of flip and fold technique that gives it all of that dimension. I think it works best on the tree and the star because uh, you would normally think of presents as having this sort of um, kind of shape to them, but it's, it's a different look. It's cute. Um, and I love making this uh, floating floor pop up. I can definitely see myself doing this again, maybe making a full like forest scene with some trees, some um, deer, and uh, maybe houses because you can put these little pop-up stands anywhere on this platform basically. And I only put two on, on this half of it, but you could put them on both halves and really just make an entire scene. So I think I might try that and um, and see you know how elaborate I can get. But this was the first time I was making a floating floor pop up, and so I just wanted to kind of keep it simple. Um, probably the most complicated thing was all the die cutting for the um, flip and fold because you do need to do um, double up on everything so that the front and the back are the same. So that's my four flip cards for the Christmas tree motif. So there's my pop-up, my tree spinner, interactive card, and then my layered card and my flat card. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these cards and I'll be doing more holiday flips and sharing them with you soon. Have a fantastic day. Bye.